Hey everyone, it's JD Ray, and today I am coming at you guys with a review and demo of the new Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. The polymer gel system provides lasting wear while 25% pigment and a special blend of next generation silicones provides a full coverage waterproof matte finish. I did get this in the shade 7.75 as you guys can see right there and this is a medium to deep uh, shade with golden undertones per the website on sephora.com this is what the packaging looks like because this is such a full coverage foundation I am going to be priming my skin with the Kat Von D Locket uh, featherweight primer I find that this primer is not necessarily the best at like filling in pores and lines but it does stop your makeup from sinking into your fine lines and your pores doesn't hide them but it stops it from sinking and settling in there and I also I find that it's very hydrating and it stops a very full coverage foundations from looking cakey which you know obviously nobody wants that so I did grab about a pump as you guys can see here I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this with my Tarte airbrush bamboo brush as you guys can see this is a perfect skin match for me I'm just gonna grab a little bit more and apply this on my forehead here this side has a thin layer of the full coverage naked skin all nighter foundation this side does not it covers hyperpigmentation as well as any unevenness in the skin tone and it doesn't look like a very flat matte which I like it's almost like a satin matte if I'd like to if I'd have to describe it so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on the other half of my face so this is what it looks like without setting it or doing anything else to it it looks really pretty I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Alright guys, so I have done the rest of my makeup as you guys can see. I am going to be out and about today and it is kind of hot, so let's see how this goes. It is currently 3.32pm, um, so a bit of a late start today. I kind of slept in. Um, so I will touch base with you guys in a few hours to see how well... Is that an eyelash? Like I said, I will touch base with you guys in a few hours to see how well this foundation wears. I've already worn this for about a week or so and I'm obsessed with it. But just for video recording purposes, I want to I want to show you guys how this looks. I have not set this with powder. Um, the only powders I have are on my cheeks um, and really that's it. I don't have anything in my T-zone. Just so you guys can see how well this wears for day-to-day -day wear and as well as how well it is at controlling the oily area of my face. So I will see you guys in a few hours. So I'm doing a check-in for the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation. Uh, full coverage matte finish and oil free is what it says on the packaging. So it is now 10.09. So it has been about six, really? Has it really been? Yeah, six hours and 30 minutes about. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys what this looks like up close. I look a hot mess and I'll explain why in a few seconds here. So, I look very oily. Um, to be fair, I naturally get very oily. This is actually not as bad as I am capable of getting. Um, the foundation itself has worn very well throughout the day. Here is a run through of what I did today. So after I did my entire makeup, I actually went to the car wash and I... Um, cleaned out my car and you know I was out in the hot weather it was in the 90s today so I think that has something to do with it um, I was driving around and I did have my AC on but it's still you know when I wasn't in the actual car uh, the heat did make me sweat a little bit after that I came home I um, and then I got ready to go to the gym so this is after the gym so I went to the gym I worked out I was there actually for about two hours I got in a very crazy workout I was sweating a lot and it was very hard for me not to you know blot um, be but because of this video I wasn't um, you know I just couldn't blot because I wanted to show you guys what this looks like after that I went to have some dinner with some friends and now I'm here so to be fair, like I said, this is after two hours of working out at the gym. And when I go to the gym, I go in, I start sweating. I sweat a lot. 
And so to be honest, this has been wearing, this has worn pretty well considering all of the things that I've done today. And this actually does not look as oily as it can be. My T-zone is naturally very oily, this area right here as you guys can see. And this is, you know, it's, it's oily but it's workable. Like I don't feel uncomfortable really necessarily. I mean, I could use some blotting around here, but it's nothing that I can't handle easily. I'm going to blot one side of my face with the Blotterazzi, and then the other side I'm just going to take a little, um, little paper, um, napkin, not napkin, it's actually toilet paper. Um, that's kind of gross, I know, but, well, not really. It's not like I've used it. Um, and I'm just going to blot to see if it transfers onto the actual... Um, so if it transfers at all. This side's dirty. You guys can see that I've been using it the last few days to test this out. This side's clean. I'm gonna go ahead and blot this to see how. Hmm, okay. Okay. See, I feel like... Let's do this half over here. So there is a slight amount of transfer, nothing too crazy, and I feel like my makeup looks good again. I could go out, I could go out with this. I really, honestly could. I don't feel uncomfortable. Okay, not bad. Like I said, just a little bit of transfer, which, to be fair, I've been sweating a lot all day. A little piece of paper, and we are going to see how much I how much oil I have on this, okay? So, let's see. Huh. Okay. I'm just gonna blow all over my face here. This is very surprising to me because I have been wearing this foundation for the last week or so, and I knew it was very long wearing and I loved it, but I didn't realize how transfer resistant it is. This is all the makeup that transferred. Yes, some makeup transferred, but I have used foundations where if I had blotted my face after a workout, literally, it just would have come off. The foundation would not be on my face anymore. This would be much darker. There would be much more makeup on this. This is not a lot. It's really not. And my makeup, again, looks refreshed. I don't feel like I've lost too much coverage. It looks awesome. Do I love this foundation? Yes, I do love it. Would I recommend it? Yes, actually. And... It's just, I'm so surprised because I do not like the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I don't like it. It made me break out. It is just, I don't know, I don't like the finish of it. It's a little bit too luminous for my taste and I wish it had more coverage. This fixes all of those three things. This foundation, I've literally not, you're not supposed to do this, but I've fallen asleep in it. I feel like it has definitely a very good full coverage and also it's a very matte satin finish. It has also helped with some of the oil production, believe it or not. I get very oily, and so I'm really obsessed with this foundation at the moment. It does say it's waterproof. So, I'm gonna spray my face, get myself wet, so. Okay, so definitely have water on my face right now. I am going to take a clean, this is not gonna be enough, little um, paper, toilet paper. <laughs> And I'm going to blot, and let's see if this falls off. Okay, well the paper's peeling, cool. Pounce this, okay, let's not do that. So this is in fact, from what I can tell, not coming off. You guys can see a little bit is coming off, but nothing too crazy. That's what's coming off. So after spraying my face with water, <laughs> this is all that is coming off. Really, that's not a lot. You guys have seen it. It still looks freaking awesome. I have a little paper here. Let me rub this off. It still looks awesome to me. I mean, I'm obsessed with this foundation. You be the judge of that. With that said, this is the end of this review and demo. This is the first time I've done a video like this. So bear with me and if there's any constructive criticism that you can give me, please leave it in the comment section down below. I love a good constructive criticism because then at that point I can improve. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was definitely a new experience for me. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And like I said, my next foundation that I review will be the 
Makeup Forever Face and Body or the Water Blend Foundation, the new formula. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys around. Bye.